Hello, my name is Julia Rose. I'm the senior librarian at the Santa Catalina branch. And today we are going to be making mini pinatas. Ta-da! As a kid growing up, I have so many fond memories of hitting the pinata until all those candies and toys fell out. And even now in my family, our young kids still have pinatas at their birthday parties. Um, and it's just a really fun tradition. I want to talk a little bit about the history before we get into making it because I learned so much about the tradition of piñatas and where it originated that I didn't know before. Although piñatas are often associated with Mexico and Mexican tradition, many believe they can be traced back to China, where colorful figures of cows and buffaloes were filled with seeds to celebrate the coming of the new year. Once the figure was broken, folks surrounding that figure would rush to gather the fallen seeds that were meant to be burnt. The remaining ashes from the fire were kept throughout the year as a good luck charm. In the 14th century, the custom was imported first to Italy and then to Spain and adapted for the celebration of Lent. The Italian word bignata, which translates into clay pot, is the most probable entomology of the word as the original bignatas were fashioned in clay. When the Spanish conquered America, they realized th that the indigenous population had a similar tradition. The Aztecs would fill a clay jar with offerings and decorate it with bright, colorful feathers. They would break the jug in celebration of the Aztec god of war. When the piñatas were broken, the treasure would fall to the god's feet as an offering. Piñatas have mostly lost their religious connotations, and have become a symbol of celebration at birthday parties and during Christmas. When piñatas became popular at kids' birthday parties, the clay pots were substituted by paper mache and cardboard. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the origins of the piñata. Let's get back to making one of our own. Okay, let's go over which supplies you'll need to make your piñata. You'll need a paper cup. You'll need crepe paper or tissue paper in whichever colors you'd like. You'll need some glue. You'll need a little bit of string or yarn or ribbon, some scissors and tape. You'll need a rubber band and you'll need something to put inside your pinata. That's up to you. You can do treats, anything you'd like today. I'll be using pom-poms. We're going to start by prepping our cup. So take your cup. You're going to want to poke a small hole in the top and you're going to take a piece of your string ribbon or yarn and just carefully feed it through the top and then make a knot on the other side so that it stays in and it's ready to hang. All right, next we're going to fill it and add the bottom. So I'm gonna put my pom-poms in. I'm going to take another piece of, of my yarn and I'm actually going to just very carefully tape it around one of my pom-poms. Now if you're using a treat, you would tape it around one of your treats. And what this, this is gonna do is that once you pull the string to release the, tr the treats, this will give it something to pull down and help break that tissue paper. So, oops, <laughs> I'm just taping it on like that. I'm going to add it to my cup of pom-poms and then I'm going to take my tissue paper. I'm going to snip a small little hole, very small in the center, and I'm going to use that hole to feed my string through. Okay, and then this will give a little pull string so that when you or the person you give the pinata to is ready to release the treats or whatever goodies you have inside they'll have something to pull so you'll see i've just kind of put it there in the center and put the tissue paper on top and i'm going to make it nice and taut like that and i'm going to use my rubber band to go around the tissue paper and then I'm just gonna move it up till it's as close to the rim of the cup as possible. 
and kind of keeping it nice and tight. There we go. All right, so you see the, the bottom. It's got the string that treats are inside and now it's got a way to hang okay and if you'd like at the end you can add like a nice little pom-pom at the bottom just for decoration so we're almost ready to get started adding our fringe but first I'm just going to take my scissors and cut all of this extra tissue paper so that it's not sticking out because we really don't need that all right, now that that tissue paper is nice and trimmed, our cup is prepped and ready to go. So now we are going to prep our crepe paper. Okay, I'm gonna start by cutting strips of about six colors. That's how many I wanna use. Um, however many colors you wanna use is up to you. Uh, I'm gonna cut them about 10 inches or so. Um, that, you know, the cup does get smaller at the top, so you don't need as much at the top, but I do like to kind of layer um, my colors. So with the extra, I'm just gonna keep going around, but you can always just clip it if you'd like to add just a single row, however you wanna do it. So I'm gonna cut my strips and I'm gonna switch my camera view so you can see how I prep the crepe paper to create that fringe that will go on our pinata. So I've got my colors picked out here, kind of a rainbow assortment of colors, and I'm just going to start getting them ready and getting them all fringed up. So you're going to start with one, and you're just going to fold it in half, the whole length of the paper. Just like that. This just makes it kind of a smaller fringe since the cup that we're using is small and since we're making mini pinatas we're kind of making mini fringe and then you're going to take that strip and you're going to fold it in half once and then i'm going to do you know what? i'm going to fold it two more times so there we go and then let me fold it one more time and this is going to make making the fringe so much easier all right, so I am gonna be cutting on the open side, not the folded side. And I'm just going to make notches, not all the way up. And I'm just gonna cut through like that. And then when you open it up, it's got all this beautiful fringe. So easy and so much faster folding it than doing it all the doing it one by one so I'm gonna do that for all of my colors just so that they'll all be prepped and ready to go it'll make gluing them onto the cup much much quicker and easier than having to stop after each color and fold and fringe so I'm gonna get all of that out of the way I'll be right back with my finished fringe so now that our cup is prepped and our crepe paper is prepped, we're just going to start gluing it and adding it on. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm just going to, well, first I'm going to open it. <laughs> I'm going to add a line of glue all the way around the cup here. And then I'm going to take the first color which I've chosen green, and I'm just going to stick it on. Now, if your pinata is full of heavy treats like candy or something else, you'll want to be careful at this point, and you might even want to do it flat on a table just so that, that extra weight doesn't shift around so much and open up the um, tissue paper. Now, you know I'm using pom-poms, so mine barely weighs anything. So I've gone all the way around and if I wanted to, or if you want to, you can just snip it and then keep going with your next color. I, however, am going to add a second row. So I'm just gonna add some more glue and kind of keep gluing as I go. And I'm just slightly laying it just a little bit above just to add a little bit more of that color and just to kind of 
add more depth. So I'm gonna just keep going all the way around until it's added a full second row, which looks about right there. Okay, so, and I still have some extra, so I'm not gonna keep going though. I'm going to just snip off that little tail can save it for a future pinata if I want to or something else. And there you have your first layer. And you can just keep going with whatever colors you chose. I chose six, so I'm just gonna keep going about two times around with each color. If you wanted to use fewer colors, you would maybe make your bands thicker or maybe you wanted to make a repeating pattern. That's totally fine, it would look super cute, I think. But for me, I'm just gonna keep going with my next color all the way until I reach the top. And you can see it's a beautiful mini pinata. Now, if we wanted to, we could call it a day and be done and that's perfectly fine. But I'm going to add just a little bit more crepe paper to the top here. Let me show you what it'll look like when it's finished, just to kind of finish it off and really get rid of all of the white of the cup. So I've got um, some silver here, that's the color I've chosen, and I'm going to just carefully add some glue to the top of the cup. I especially want to get that inside part of the cup there. I'm going to do a little bit at a time so that I don't get any glue on the string. And I'm just going to take my crepe paper, I'm going to line it up to where the hole is, push that down, and then push it into the edge of the cup there. And then I will keep going. There we have it. This looks a lot more clean and polished to not have that white rim. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut around the edge here. There we have our beautiful pinata. Isn't it adorable? All that beautiful mini fringe we created a way to hang it, we finished off the top, and I did go ahead and add a pom-pom to the pull string just to add a little bit more decoration. So all that's left is to pull it. Are you ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Thanks for crafting with me. I hope you make some mini pinatas at home. I can't wait to see how you use them and how they turn out. So don't forget to tag us, the Pasadena Public Library. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and we always love to see what you create after watching our programs. Thank you. Bye.